दर्शपर्यंदम द्रव्यम परमाणु एवं इंफीरियर मोस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ ए मैटर इज कॉल्ड परमाणु परमाणु रीति प्रोक्ता यानी ना दृष्टि को जरा व्हाट वी कॉल एस परमाणु इट कैन बी अंडरस्टूड बाय ओनली साइंटिस्ट परमाणु इति प्रोक्ता यानी ना दृष्टि को जरा नॉट बियोंड दिस इट इज मेंशन बट डायमीटर ऑफ त्रसरेणु परमाणु एवरीथिंग इज गिवन कनेक्टेड विद द पार्टिकल व्हेन द लाइट रेज पास थ्रू दैट वन दैट डायमीटर इज गिवन धीमताचितोटोमीटर All the instrument, how it is to be made, every convex lens, concave lens, plate, alloy, their serial number, everything is given by Bharadwaja. So the methods for the instrumentation is given by Bharadwaja in Yantra Sarvaswa. Yantra Sarvaswa is a small portion of a big book, Amshubodini. So, Amshu Bodhini is a huge book where all the methods are mentioned. The spectrophotometer of Bharadwaja with English translation is available outside. Paimanika Shastra is also available outside. So, uh, Dr. Yukawa from Japan who submitted his thesis in Lucknow University has compiled the picture of 800 instruments used in India for determining the astronomical parameters all the instruments used for surgery etc we can see that vagbhada acharya as well as charaka has given in detail with experimental details in that surgery etc almost all the instruments are explained in many books if you are asking specific question on specific thing um, nagarjuna has given complete details of chemistry instruments in esaratna samuchaya full details with the structure diameter height etc nature etc all laboratory 28 instruments used in the laboratory is also mentioned in that majority of the math made using ceramics very good question that they were able to discover so many theorems or by proper training and experimentation that they were able to how never by intuition sir All the books which I could uh, analyze it, I can see that it is by perspiration only. Systematic study they have done it. They have used instrument, but during that period, giving a detailed description was not there. Giving only shlokas, and whenever the students come, they explain the shloka and the method they narrate to them. So methods, experimentation. And very well they say sakshat anubhavayir drishto nasruto na guru darshita loka na upakara ya etat sarvam pradarshita sakshat anubhavayir drishto whatever is done through their anubhava pariksha ya astu ghalu prayojanam go on doing experiment then you will get better and better results so these are all the methods used very systematic everywhere surgery first surgery you have to do using snake god after that second stage of surgery using cucumber the skin you have to cut third level of surgery ash god and fourth level of surgery bitter god where you should not touch the skin except the skin the scissor should not go below that then only you have to touch the frog then only rabbit then only dog then only pig is all very systematically mentioned there very clearly in the examination pariksha chapter is mentioned Like that, astronomy also. So intuition may be there little bit. It's one percent or two percent. I was saying that the all intuition is not. Theory of relativity, uh, especially Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, etc. You can see in Padanjali's Yoga Shastra, seventh chapter, so beautifully there. <laughs> 
and uh, that also I have written, I have not compiled it. Answer it. It is impossible for getting the two information simultaneously. What is what he says? It is impossible to get two information simultaneously. Sir, you can have a partial percent. Yeah, yeah. Time is. And. Uh, Last question, last question. Yeah, last question. Sir. Last means last test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how do you how can explain this? So many things. You are right. Some of the things we cannot expect that one nation does everything, invents everything, discovers everything. No. That we cannot explain. Some time it may not be possible. Yet I will tell you. In Dwanta Pramapakam Yendram, Bharadwaja has given the line, Vidyut Rendradhibir Yutam, using the electrical wiring system, connect all these things, and that is used. I don't know whether electricity was there or not. Assume that electricity was not there. Assume that Vimana was not there. But one cannot expect that. One nation, everything is developed there. We need not expect that level. We were taught till now that nothing was here. At least now we are aware that some things are there. And at that time, if we start thinking in ancient India whether submarine was there, I don't know. Sir. And like that, so many things were not here. At the first itself I told, don't say everything was here. Don't say that. And don't say nothing was here. So, so many things were there. Further research is going on. That is the happiest thing. Everywhere, IIT Delhi stands first in metallurgy, ancient Indian metallurgy. IIT Kanpur, metallurgical first thing. Instrument they are doing. So many work they are doing. We can reach somewhere. The knowledge of all these things. And if more and more light is thrown to our heritage, if it is coming back, these things we can patent and use for our, as a matter of, Pride, self-confidence, alleviating the inferiority complex from the Indian mind, bringing up the complex, not superiority, self-confidence. It's not superiority complex, but self-confidence. If that is possible, that is the ultimate aim of our mission. With these words, I would like to say when, when you are director and we met in the canteen or club, I was really afraid, I was a bit nervous because I know that I am going to give a lecture for IIT students and I know pretty well about your brain capacity. I am an ordinary man standing in front of you, facing some of the questions. I never expected that your face will be so much hearing and very, very uh, full of light and none of you looked into your watch during this much. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. yawning also. But you have never yawned. Yawning is the symptom of boring. But I feel so much happy that your dean is here, professors are here, and you all sitting with great inner feeling and encouraging every statement I was telling. I am sure that before 2007, August 15th, India will come back. The glorious India it is more and more safe in the hands of people like you. Many of you may not be in India. After your course, you may be going outside. Remember that wherever you are, the motherland is only one. Even though you are taking citizenship in America, they will not treat you as an American. Anything happen to you, if you have stolen something, they will send you back to India, not to anywhere else. And if you are making credit for American, they will tell you, you continue here. Otherwise, your protection is in Mother India's hand. And you should give the message of our motherland to everybody. Make them understand about our, our India. Any misunderstanding they have got, change it. Whatever information connected with the heritage science, we shall try our level best to take to you. And 
your director knowingly or unknowingly, intentionally or unintentionally, he has said that we would like to invite you frequently. I don't know whether he said as a formality, <laughs> whatever he I assure you that whenever I come here, I shall try to meet you. Instead of talking a wider range, a specific area, mathematics alone. Now today's requirement is giving a wider range. We can go through that. My deep pronouns to each and every one. Sir, thank you for your wonderful and insightful lecture. Now, my request are being students, Professor Edi Chani, to present the moment of it. That's it for today. <laughs>